Hey, yo, you already know what it is, man. It's Zip with the Drip, man. I'm in here with a few good guys. I got Bino on deck. Coach Did Dad is in the building. And Iman is on deck, man. If you don't know who Iman is, I'm going to get you real familiar with that nigga before I'm done with this shit. You could bet that. Hey, yo, man, I got Tax Stone on the line, man. Tax, stay what's up, man. What it look like, beloved? Ain't nothing, man. We ain't... Ain't nothing, man. We in, man. We rolling up, and I'm saying we, we we ready to chop it up with you, man. You know I don't do interviews, so what's up? Um, first things first. First things first. Last time you was here. Last time you was here. And I'm saying we had to cut the conversation short because you said the um the three bowls had ran up in the building on the on the on the, on the homies and all of that, and eleven niggas got cut. So 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 we had to cut the conversation short, and I'm saying we back in here. And um, you tell me you just came off a visit and um, you just got into a situation with the three bowls, man. What's going on, man? Nah, some minor shit, some dope fiend niggas. You know, most of them niggas do drugs, so them niggas be like little angry drug addicts. You know, them niggas, most of them niggas is like the niggas in the train station. Them niggas be begging you with the cup. You give them some change and they feel like it ain't enough and they want to get gangster, you know what I mean? So, you know, it's just minor shit. I don't really go through nothing in here, yo. Everything I go through in here is like, nigga been through way worse in the street, you know what I mean? So, it's like, jail ain't hard to maneuver, you dig what I'm saying? It's a lot of weak-minded niggas that feel like they gotta be physically strong in order to scare people, you know what I mean? I let niggas do all the pull-ups they do, and I just watch them, and the pull-ups don't do nothing for them, they still be fucked up. I told niggas, I told niggas all that brolic shit is good for us when you come home, Niggas be like, yo, can you help me move this couch over there? Can you help me move this dress over there? That shit ain't good for nothing, man. I ain't, I ain't work. I did, I did a whole dub. I probably did 3,000 push-ups in 20 years total. 3,000. <laughs> Straight up. Fuck all. I ain't. <laughs> Dead ass. I take my breaks, but then I go hard again and start working out just because I be feeling the body be feeling too loose, so I got to tighten shit up. But... Besides that, I ain't know these niggas, these niggas that don't, don't, they not cerebral. Everything is physical with them. So, you know, I was telling one of my, my young boys before, I was like, yo, every time you get into a debate, it turns into, I can fight though. And that's only because you don't know how to talk. When niggas don't know how to talk, they always got to go in if they know how to fight because that's all they know how to do. And that goes for a lot of niggas in the community we come from. Niggas don't know how to verbally have verbal exchanges without without turning into an argument. They don't know how to debate. So I be in here actually trying to teach niggas like, yo, all these words that y'all be thinking that y'all gonna kill people over for y'all whole life, that's not real. Because if you really from the street, did you kill everybody that told you to suck their dick? It's like, you ain't do that. And if you did, nigga, you would be a serial killer. So it's like, it's certain words that you got to understand that you shouldn't allow to affect you. It's certain words you got to understand that niggas to say because they want to die at that moment. But it's not your place to kill them. You know what I mean? Right. So it's like, I don't be really paying attention to too much. I stay within my own realm. I just try to find like-minded niggas. I fuck with the old heads. Like, I fuck with a crackhead before I fuck with some of these young niggas because the young niggas ain't get to go through their crackhead stage yet that they on the way to go to. You know what I mean? So I'd rather deal with a nigga that been on crack already and lived some years because he can drop some jewels when he give me some game. Because at the end of the day, the crackheads be outliving the drug dealers. The drug dealer be dead. The crackhead done went through 75 drug dealers already. You know what That's I mean? a fact. Ayo, 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 word on the street. Word on the street says you're going to have some issues in the can, man. I'm saying you've been in the can a long time, but word on the street is you're going to have some issues in the can and all of that. How you feel about that? Uh, I don't feel nothing about it. Like, you know, if that's the case, then that's the case. You know what I mean? I don't know when it's been hard for me to solve an issue. That's what I don't understand when niggas bring up issues. I'd be like, did I ever have a problem solving the issues before? So I don't I don't understand why niggas would be like word because when he get here, nigga, I've been in here six years. Why I gotta keep going places? I went everywhere. I've been in every building on the island. I went to both sides of the feds. What are you talking about? I'm the same nigga, and I do what I want to do wherever I go. And you're not gonna meet a nigga in jail to tell you different. Yo, speaking so, of feds, speaking I of feds. I'm about that shit because it is what it is. The earth is my turf. I do the same thing on, on the land. So it's like, you, what it is is that some of these niggas, is a, they big somebody's on their block. But when they get in here, a nigga that live in the shelter is running jail. And they got to comply by the homeless nigga because he got the energy to fight all day and work out. And they nervous. They not physically fit. So 
So, you know, I'm mentally fit and I'm physically fit. And I don't even care if I lose fights, I'll keep fighting you. So even niggas that done beat me in fights don't be wanting to fight me again. They like, that nigga's going to still disrespect me after I beat him up. So it's like, if you don't kill me, you ain't win. Yo, that's crazy. I just I just was on live saying the same thing last night. Like, I'm saying, I, I think my losses, I think my losses gave me my character. So I don't even really mind losing the fight. I'm going into the fight like I'm about to kick your ass. But um, if I lose it, I'm gonna learn a lot from that anyway. So I'm gonna be all right, and I'm gonna talk about it like I won. I'm gonna talk about it like I won. With entire fucking gangs, nigga. Me, just me, beef with an entire gang, and. The reason it be ending in my favor most of the time is because, just like I said, if you work out your muscles all day and you don't work out your most important muscle, which is your mind, you never gonna move. Most of these niggas are soldiers. None of them is generals. They said, yo, 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 yo. They only got fucking arms and heart. They just waiting for orders. Yo, you tax. They said, they said the strong. They say the strong control the weak, but the but the small control everybody. You heard, and that's the, that's that's what I try to live by. You heard all that big brawling exactly. shit. That shit don't mean nothing because exactly. you get busy. That don't mean nothing. How, how, Cause you think your way out of a, out of a situation, and I'm saying that that that's what's important. You heard, hey yo. But you mentioned the feds, and I'm saying and it's kind of it's kind of a hot topic right now. Boosie, the feds just snatched this nigga up. They got pictures of this nigga swammy on his lower back and all that. They just came and got that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Um, who they grabbed? Lil Boosie. Oh oh yeah, Boosie, Boosie. What do you got a gun charge? Yeah, probably fell in the possession of a firearm. Yeah, that shit ain't shit. That nigga get probation for that. That's how they giving it up with those now? Yeah, they don't care about guns over there. That's why T.I. ain't get no time. A lot of people don't understand. If you get caught with 75 guns in the feds, it's equal to one. So you still only face zero to ten years. So depending on what your guidelines is, depending on how many felonies Boosie got and what his guidelines is and when the last time he been in jail, that's going to be his, his points. So his points might be low. That nigga could have, that nigga could get a year in a day. He could get probation. Guns ain't that serious. The only time they give you nine years or ten years for a gun is because they wanted to get you for some other shit and couldn't get you for it. But besides that, a gun in the feds is a slap on the wrist. My man just blew trial. My man just blew trial. They, 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 they say he killed somebody. But they only charged him with the bullets and the gun. That's, that, it was like the weirdest thing I ever heard, but he just blew trial for that. He just blew to the bullets? He just blew to the bullets. and The, the bullets that was in the gun, he just blew trial to that. All right, well, he Gucci. That's the same charge. That's 922G, which is which is guns. A bullet is a gun in the Fed. So if you got caught with 60 bullets, each bullet is a gun. But it's still only 0 to 10 years. Yeah, that's what he faced in 10 years. He just blew trial for that. And he might not even get that. He fuck around, get six. I was just with a nigga who did six years for a gun in the feds, went home, got caught with a gun on probation, blew trial, and they gave him four years. Yeah, see, like, this nigga, this nigga ain't never, he ain't never been to jail for nothing violent before. He he might have did a bit or two, but he ain't never been to, in, inshallah, that work out for him. Where, inshallah, he gets something like that. 47 months or some shit, he be Gucci, you heard? Yeah, that'd be fire, that'd be fire. Word. How you feel about this gunner, nigga? How you feel about gunner? I'm saying they said you was fucking with Gunner, man. How you feel about Gunner? Nah, I actually never fucked with Gunner, but um, you know, um, you yeah, never fuck with Gunner. Gunner used, know, used to make nice music. That, you know, I don't know if Gunner knew what he was doing. You know what I mean? But in that cop out, with the moment you admit that YSL is a gang, you just hurt everybody because they're trying to prove that YSL is a gang. So by you copping out saying that YSL is a gang, you going against what Young Thug is saying that YSL is a record label. But how you feel about you signed to that record label? So the first thing you supposed to say when they said it was a gang, you supposed to say, "Nah, it's not a gang." He said they tricked him, son. He said they tricked him, son. He said the DA tried. Nah, 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 nah. So why? So if the DA, hold up. So, 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 so if the DA tricked him, right? If the DA tricked him, how come he ain't got his lawyer? Plastered all over social media and all that. Why he ain't trying to get that nigga disbarred? This, this is the if thing about the trick part, it's not that the DA tricked you. What it is is that the DA didn't trick you at all. The DA wrote that cop out out, and you read the cop out exactly how they wrote it. So if you go into my paperwork in federal custody, they also wrote a cop out for me, and I did not cop out to what they wrote. I copped out to what I said. You understand? Yeah. Because they will make you allocute somebody else and then it'll harm them. Yeah, I'm saying you know in the I mean? state, in the state so with my case, right? There, so you sit there and you, y'all both locked up 
um, shooting somebody, and then they'd be like, yo, you know what? We don't really feel like you did it. We're going to give you a cop-out of four years, and the nigga's happy. And then when he gets to court, the cop-out says that, oh, y'all right, you have to say that. Um, oh, so on August 17th, you seen Zip pull out the gun and shoot him three times. Yes. You understand? You just allocuted him. So now Zip is going to trial to say he never shot nobody. But that's in your cop out that he shot somebody. Yeah, I'm, so I'm here. Young thug going to motherfucking say YSL is not a gang if all y'all copped out and said YSL is a gang. His charge is the gang, the Rico. Right. Right. So that's the issue there. Yeah, the nigga lying talking about they tricked him in. I nigga knew what he was doing. That nigga was trying to come home. That whole snitching shit, like these people are so. The, the squares just need to step that off. Like, stop. Stop talking about shit that y'all don't know about. If you would like to know about it, actually go study it. Y'all niggas be having Google, and y'all refuse to just use your smartphone. It's like, I just told somebody, snitching is offering information in a criminal investigation that can help the government with their case. Unknown information. You understand? So, if you said public information, you know, it's like saying, yo, um... Um, what's the white dude that choked the dude on the train? It's like saying, yo, you, you just choked the nigga on the train. You're not snitching by saying that. He's on camera choking the nigga. You understand? So, but people don't understand. So, like, for instance, the um the dude Malcolm Kenyon who testified against me, I posted him on my social media the other day, and he said, um, he said, um, Oh, people was underneath the post talking about, oh, you snitching on him now by saying he's snitching. I said, these niggas are fucking stone cold idiots. How the fuck could I snitch on this snitch? That ain't getting me out of jail, so how am I snitching on him? A snitching agreement happens with the district attorney. It happens with the cops. You can't even go to the judge and snitch if you wanted to. You can't go to the fucking judge. The only Yo. time you talking to the judges when you say, um, um, you 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 fucking um pray on, put your hand on the Bible. That's it. And then if you talk to find and he ask you a question. So the thing is, is that these dudes are so confused with what telling is and what is not, and it's like whatever. Who gives a fuck what y'all think? But just keep that shit to y'all. Cause see, I've been in jail six years. So what I tell people is, if you think I'm a snitch, right? Why I'm in jail unscathed, chilling, twinkling on my toes. Now. If Troy has to come to jail, do you think he's going to have the same comfortability as me? He said he got to go to jail. He said he got to go to jail. Well, you know, yeah, his plea agreement states that, um, his, his um, cooperation agreement states that um, he'll get, the DA is asking for him to get a year or less. So I'm under the impression that the DA told him that maybe the judge is going to try to give him a little more. You know what I mean? And that's a blessing. I pray that he get a little bit more. Just a little bit. Just so he can go to the state. I don't want you to hide on Rikers Island in a sentence house. Get in population and scratch your knuckles. You nah, he gonna go to he gonna go to like mid state. He gonna go to mid state. He not gonna go if he go up, he gonna go like how prodigy and them went went up north. He not gonna go to he not gonna be in population with niggas. Yeah, he's gonna see that he does that. He's gonna but he'll he'll still get got there too. I, I I I was in that spot. I used to see them niggas. Ain't nothing really going on in that. Like I'm saying, the jail is tough, but in that area where they at, it's kind of like late. But 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 he ain't gonna he ain't gonna he ain't gonna make sure that he in population with niggas. Like he wouldn't hit that yard in Denimora or none of that. Mm -hmm. But you know how the atmosphere work. That nigga fuck around get gotten reception on the on on on, on, so on a, on a Ulster trip. That, the thing is, is that it's just a whole bunch of dudes just minding their business for the wrong reasons. You know what I mean? It's like a a dude called me the other night. He like, yo, tax your cash. Just got shot. I'm like, I'm like, he got stabbed or cut. He like, yo, he got cut. I'm like, why well, he all right then? And that's the story he gives me. But he don't tell me that this nigga cash chopped the nigga down right after. I told niggas that, yo, son, this is crazy, yo. Like talk about the negative. Hey, yo, listen, this is my word. I told niggas that yesterday. Niggas asked me, yo, how you feel about casting over get cut? I said, all we heard of is casting over get cut. I don't care. Niggas get cut in jail every day. I said, that's a big nigga. How you know that after he got cut, he didn't beat the brakes off a nigga? How you know he didn't cut a nigga first? I don't want to speak on the casting over situation because I don't know what happened. I know that every nigga that get cut is not the victim in the situation. I know niggas that got cut that beat brakes breaks off of the shooter so it don't it, 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 it and i'm saying i don't i don't that's a big man i'm saying i don't that's a big that's a big dude you heard like how you know what happened after he got cut i don't want to talk about that you heard word of mother yeah, it's, 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 so it's funny you say that say he, he cut him over seven times after he got cut 
He cut the kid over seven times after he got over cut? seven times after he got cut. He got busy. Exactly. He got he did busy. Exactly what he was supposed to do. He did a return to sender. He got busy. He won. That's what I'm saying. So that's what, that's what I, I was telling niggas on my lot. Yo, look, yo, look. Yo, look, yo, look. Yo, look. So I, I, that nigga don't need no prayers, nigga. What fuck is you talking about? Yeah, like that's what I told niggas. I said, yo, listen, man. I said, yo, I don't, I, I said, I don't know if y'all niggas know it or not. But nigga, when you do a lot of banging, you get banged on, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And some niggas, they don't care about that shit. That shit gonna make some niggas cute. Bros are gonna be touching it. Oh, what happened? Hey, yo, this fag. You understand what I'm saying? This bitch ass nigga got niggas. They're like, that's gonna make some niggas cute. So everybody don't care about that. Niggas is into that. Like, respectfully, niggas is in it. Niggas is, niggas, niggas minds, niggas brains is messed up, bro. Niggas is warriors, man. Niggas, niggas feel like they gonna get seats at Valhalla when they die, bro. Straight up, man. That's the, that's the society that we come from, bro. Some niggas feel like they gonna get seats at Valhalla when they die, bro. Word. Niggas is warriors, man. Niggas say he the gorilla, man. But they said he, they said he dropped his flag. You heard that? Would you say that again? They said he dropped his flag. Said he having suicide. He he dropped his flag and he having suicidal thoughts. And then the next day, that situation happened where he got cut. That ain't that ain't even why this shit happened. But I, I'm sure. I'm, I'm, they running with. I know what happened. I'm see, that ain't it though. You know that's the angle. That's the angle niggas is running with. You heard? Yeah, I guess that ain't it. That ain't it at all. Like I ain't even gonna tell it. I'll tell you the real story off of this because it ain't. I ain't offering no information. You know what I mean? Let's get to that. Ways, but, I'll let you know off. Yeah, off. right. Let's I get to that. Down, but, I don't even want to know. Check that out. You ain't got to tell me nothing off camera. Let's get to that. I don't want. I don't want to know. I don't want nobody to never wake me up out my sleep when I don't really know what's going on and ask me a question that I can't that 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 that, that, that I wouldn't answer in my right state of mind. So you you talking about you gonna tell me off of camera? No, you not. Yeah, you ain't gonna tell me nothing. Ain't nobody gonna know. Oh, Zip, know what happened? Because Tax Stone nah, told him, get the fuck out of here. No, they know you ain't gonna tell me. It's no criminal shit. It don't matter what it is. It don't matter what it is. That shit just ain't my business. That I'm not gonna put on the airwaves, you know what I mean? Hey, yo, Tax, hey, yo, Tax, it just ain't my business. I don't care about what's going on. I I really don't care. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm like, more importantly, I hope that when that nigga gets sentenced, he gets some light. Where he able to come home and get back to a bag, man. He don't get enough time for him that, that, that he be washed up when he come home, bro. Well, see, how the feds work, how the feds work is this. Him getting cut over there is going to help him. It gives you down with departures for getting hurt in the feds. Oh. Oh. See how God work? Yep. And it's right before his sentencing, so that might work in his favor. Yeah, yeah, because you know they supposed to be providing care, custody, and control. So when something happens to you over there, you know. Yeah, the state, the state don't give a fuck, but the feds don't play that. Yeah, the feds. You, that's get, the... Hurt over, you get hurt by them niggas. Like, them niggas, them niggas are giving you a time cut and all that. Them niggas are chop three, four years off your bed, whatever. See how God work? Word. Something else I wanted to so, ask you too. I'm trying to think about you know, it. This weed got me caught. I'm saying. At the end of the day, bro, it's like the streets. The streets. The streets. One thing I always want to tell niggas that that nigga Troy Ave was very right about is that the streets is a myth, and he proved it to you that's a myth. Because anytime you have a guy that attacked over ten different people for saying his music was whack, and then the moment when he attacks again, he don't win. He decides to cooperate with the government. That shows you right there that the streets are a myth. Nah, sir, the streets is real, sir. The street, my daddy got 40, going on 43 years in, fucking with the streets. His little brother got almost 43 years in, fucking with the streets. I didn't gave him over 25. My brother didn't gave him over 25. I got uncles that didn't gave him over 25. Yo, my mother been to jail. My grandmother went to jail for a body. Um, I went to jail for a body. The streets is real. Shit really happens in the streets. They will take your life away in these streets. One way or another, you oh, heard? Nah, so, 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 hold on, hold on, tax. Hold on, tax. Hold on, tax. Loyalty is a myth. Loyalty, the concept of loyalty is a myth. That's a myth. And I'm saying the concept of loyalty, the, 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 some of these concepts in the streets is myths. But 
The internet is the myth. These niggas is gangsters. These niggas is big time drug dealers. These niggas is stone cold killers on the internet and on rap songs. And then when 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 the drug dealing things happen, when the killing start happening, these niggas don't be drug dealers and killers no more. They want to be. I was at work. I was at work. You understand what I'm saying? I was at work when it happened. You know, I'm not a killer. I'm not a drug dealer. I'm at work. You understand? And so they want to be able to tell. Like, 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 I, I dropped my flag. I dropped my flag for whatever I dropped my flag for, right? Check it. Boom. You got some niggas that dropped it. When I, when I did drop my flag, you know, I made it my business not to hang around the gang no more. You heard? You got some niggas that dropped their flag and still hang around the gang. You know why they dropped their flag? So they don't got to put no work in. So when it's a war, they could kick back. They be in their cell, they eating fried Jack Mac, they eating beans and rice. You understand what I'm saying? They, 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 they chilling, they watching. They, 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 I was up north when Kobe was getting busy. They watching Kobe on a late night in L.A. They watching them late games in L.A. You, you understand what I'm saying? They don't want to put anything. They, 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 they not in the auditorium with the handcuffs on at 3 in the morning because it was a riot in the yard. They not tear gas all over them and all that. They not down there like that. You heard you dropped your flag because you don't want to put work in no more. You still hanging around the same niggas. But you're not gangbanging no more. That don't make no sense to me, you heard? And that's how these niggas is. These niggas is gangsters on the internet. These niggas is gangsters on them songs. When they in the restaurants, they act like they gangsters. They gonna be a gangster all the way up into the time you punch them in their face. Or you cut them. Or you stab them. Or you shoot them. If they live, they telling on you, you heard? I was at work. I'm a rapper. I'm a movie star. I seen a comment the other day where a nigga said, it's not telling if you telling on the nigga you got beef with, I said, damn, bro. Like since when? Like since said, when? If if if, no if we in if we in the corner store, no if, if we in the corner me. store, if we in the corner store, and, and and me and you get into it, I'm, I'm, I I I I ask for a pack of papers. I ask for a pack of papers. You ask for a pack of backwoods. And, and, and at the same time, like you ain't trying to respect what's going on. We get into it. You fire on me. I fire on you. I, 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 you get away. I'm laying on I'm I'm laying on on the floor. I can't tell the police you shot me first. I can't do that. Oh yo, who who did this to you? Tack Stone did this to me. That's a you a rat. We got beef. Me and you got beef right now. We got beef. If I tell him you shot me, I, I'm a rat. You just told on that nigga. Nigga, what the fuck is what you mean you can't tell on a nigga you got beef with? Since when? Since when you not a rat if you tell on a nigga you got beef with? Yes, but you this, is a this rat. That's what I'm trying to tell you. These niggas got all kinds of different names for telling. Like, oh, no, nah, that was this kind of telling. Nigga, telling is telling. What are y'all talking about? You got people who still talking about I told on Troy Ave and I'm the one that the went to trial. Yeah, they be all in my comments. Yo, you taking up a tax stone. He told on a nigga. He wrote a letter to the judge. I be trying to explain to, to people, right? <laughs> <clears throat> that any argument that a, a lawyer use in court, they're going to cite somebody else's case, homie. What the lawyer did when he wrote that letter to the judge was he was citing other cases. This and man Trump who y'all locked up. Cases, he was discredited the rat. That's it. Discredit in the rat. How the fuck this nigga got bail? He on camera shooting. He got caught with three guns. But this motherfucker is free as a bird. Y'all don't have nothing on my client but DNA. There's DNA on him too. He got DNA on the gun too. He got caught with the gun. He got caught with three guns. He got caught on camera shooting. My client did not get on camera shooting. It's only his DNA on the gun. Why is this nigga free? And why is my client still in jail? But we found out once we read the cooperation agreement. This why he was free. Right. And then these niggas, you cannot snitch to the judge. What do these niggas think? That ain't who you make your deals with. It's with the prosecutor. It's with the police in the precinct. You can't fucking tell the judge, yo, this nigga killed that nigga. And up the process, court don't work like that. That's called that's called a bail assessment letter that my lawyer wrote. If you go to jail right now, you don't get a bail. He's gonna come up with a motion to try to figure out why you deserve bail and why you need bail and why you don't have bail. And that's what he did. That was it. The end. But the squares don't understand that. So when they get in trouble, they're going to realize when they got to defend themselves when they sitting there trying to discredit a rat nigga who got them in jail. You understand? Because the other dude, that, that, that um, Malcolm, the dude that testified that he sold over a thousand kilograms of coke and they still say he was a reliable witness. You understand what I'm saying? 
Like, how the fuck is this nigga reliable? This nigga got caught with over fucking 50 guns, thousands and thousands of bricks of coke he found he sold, and y'all sitting there talking about this nigga's reliable because he told y'all his whole life story and took a 5K1 in the feds. I'm saying, what he doing right now? What he doing right now? That nigga's free. That nigga's in the street right now taking pictures, hanging with niggas. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. So, that's the game. So, it's like, with everybody, with all these weird niggas, like, you know what I mean? You got dudes, like, look at that Trice gangster nigga. That nigga got to be the weirdest specimen walking New York City's fucking streets, bro. I was in the streets from May to January after this incident, having barbecues two blocks up from where he lives. That nigga was living in a fucking shelter. I could have been did something to that dude if I wanted to. My man was the security. He like, yo, this nigga's living in the shelter. He can't lie about that. That shit is all public record. Niggas, I probably could get it right now that you was in that shelter with your wife. But see, the thing is, is this. You was mad at Troy Ave because Troy Ave didn't bail your brother out. I'm mad at you because you couldn't bail your brother out. Now I want to know why all you niggas is acting like y'all had so much love for Banger and that nigga was in jail from November to April. That nigga missed Thanksgiving because he had a $7,000. All he needed was $7,000 to get out of jail. $7,000. Me and Maino was about to pay that nigga bail, and niggas found out that he ran and paid that kid bail. I guarantee you, if you talk to anybody, his sister, they're going to tell you that shit is true. They know it's true. They all know it's true, bro. I don't be lying to these niggas. I don't care about these niggas to be lying to them. I don't give a fuck about what these corny niggas think. These niggas is fucking free, and they still free. They free and free. Free and broke. They don't got nothing going on. Nothing. They just dick eaters. Yo, man, Trife, I was with Trife, man, Trife, yo, man, I, like, I still gotta, like, I, I, I still gotta give it up, like, I ain't got no problems with Trife, like, I, I, like, like, how Trife conducted itself in regards to that situation, I'm saying, I might not agree with all of that, and I'm saying, Trife was a sturdy nigga when I was with him, man, but, like, it paid, like, I don't really like to see Trife out having dinner and shit with Troy Ave, you heard, or brunch or whatever they was doing, you know what I'm saying, vacationing with Troy Ave, like, I ain't even know that cut off. Yeah. Uh. It's a, it's a, it, I'm going to show you this clip with Trife, right? This is what bothers me. I'm not mad at you being mad that your brother was killed. What I'm mad at is that that name that you got needs to change. You understand? That's what I'm mad at. You cannot be sitting here telling people to do something to me or this is going to happen to tax when he get to jail. You had all the opportunity on earth to do something to me. Y'all seen me in Slowbuck studio and got me arrested after. I went to jail that night. I got locked up. They, the police pulled up on me, said I had a gun, I had a knife on me, bro. Niggas got me going through Central booking for a knife in Queens, bro. Because they was, because Troy Ave was shooting a video with Mano. I was on Henderson, fucking with the, my niggas over there on Henderson. And they like, yo, the niggas said Troy and them shooting a video over there in the studio, in, in Slow Studio. I'm like, where with Mano? I'm like, oh, that's why Mano ain't hit me. I goes over there, niggas see me. I daps niggas up, talk to them, all that. Niggas got this fake tough energy. I'm being me, cracking jokes. They scared. They call the cops and tell the cops I got a gun. It's a hundred niggas in front of the studio. These niggas said, yo, came with my exact description, Nike hoodie with pink, purple, and something else in it, and stopped me out of a hundred niggas out there and said, yo, somebody called and said, you got a gun. Who else did that? I ain't got no beef with nobody in Queens. I be hanging with my Queens niggas. They ain't nothing but love with them niggas. BQE. I ain't never BQE. Been the police no other day. Police ain't pull up on me no other day. There's one day where y'all niggas is dead. The police pull up on me. My other issue is this. If you want to see me so bad, you should have been trying to free me. You're not supposed to try to keep me in jail. But you're trying to keep me in jail because you deem me to be a threat. You know that if I'm free, you going to look pussy because you ain't going to do nothing. Hey, yo, I don't... I don't usually talk about, I don't usually talk about what people tell me on the back channel. I told you, Trife, me and him got a rapport. You heard Trife hit me. Trife said, he said, yo, he said, yo, he said, yo, people saying, he said, yo, people saying. How could you be a street nigga and you on a podcast saying you don't understand why I'm not indicted yet? What street nigga 
don't understand why somebody is not indicted yet. That's what I don't understand. All I want people to be is who they say they are. Be exactly who you say you are. If you pull up with that Jason mask, be Jason when you see me. Don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do the double dutch shit. Don't pop up with the mayor one day and then be on a podcast on my year because when we sent that nigga, it was this, that, and the third. And then you standing with the top cop in New York talking about, yes, my brother was killed in this nightclub and they said that Casanova had something to do with it. Who does this, bro? This is on the news to this day, Channel Fucking 7 right now. Hold on, I'm sending you all the links. I want to know why is that okay? And why is it okay for you to still be... This nigga sitting on shit talking about, I told on Banger. I told on Troy. When is these niggas going to go to jail that I be telling on, since I'm telling on all these people? And when I'm getting out, this is what I don't understand. All I'm saying is be you. Be you, bro. All of that, seeing dudes in court, you running down on the witnesses that I got talking about you a sucker for testifying for him, all kind of crazy shit. What the fuck kind of shit is this? This is not gangster behavior. All I'm saying is change your last name, please. Please, for the earth to do that. Don't do that. Don't be out here acting like you want justice and then you out here telling niggas to do shit to me because these niggas done sent niggas at me. They ain't never going to talk about it because it didn't land in the right way. They ain't gonna tell you, cause they don't want. They don't want to act like I went nothing. They ain't gonna tell you, so they ain't gonna tell you. Yeah, my man went, and he ain't come back right. My man went, he ain't come back right. Leave me alone. I don't even be bothering y'all niggas. I just be cracking jokes for y'all niggas, cause y'all got big jeans and corny jewelry. That's it. Why well, can't just crack my jokes in peace? Leave me alone. Y'all already know I'm the class clown. Y'all can't be. Yeah, yeah. So can't be funny all your life in the hood and can't fight. I've been funny since I was five, nigga. Hey yo, hey yo, I told niggas that. Hey yo, hey yo, I'm showing niggas that right now. I'm showing niggas that right now on YouTube too. Know what I'm saying I, I was all there trying to chill. You know, I had a little lane. I wasn't bothering nobody. These niggas just start mentioning, like, I got these niggas like they in Southport right now. I got these niggas in Southport or the gate. Some of these niggas is asking to speak to the psych and all of that. I'm killing these niggas. Tax word to Marvel, you are. I am killing these niggas right now. Hassan Campbell and all them. How you feel about Hassan Campbell? What's your take on Hassan? He told me he told me he be talking to you on the phone and all that. How you feel about that nigga? I spoke to Hassan a couple times or whatever. He, he seemed like an I dude. You know, he bugged out. Like, we all a little bugged out or whatever. You know what I mean? Hassan just got to relax a little bit. That nigga be bugging with the axe in his hand and shit. I'm like, nah, this nigga's bugging. He about to catch a fucking uh, terrorist charge or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, just like I said, like, and, and even with you and Hassan, yeah, that shit, that shit need to be alleviated because at the end of the day, the New York niggas is being, is being like, we're being suppressed in this the industry. They don't be trying to give us the checks. They're giving the checks to everybody else. And this is what I was fighting for. I wasn't on no, like, trying to hate on nobody in the city like that, the, the, um, the Mirage did, like, Matt Hoffman about me. I never hated on Mav Hoffa. Like, I never did that. Like, what the fuck? Where all this shit come from? Niggas is hating on you. Niggas said you was pussy. That's not hating on you. It's mad pussy people. There's nothing wrong with being pussy. Why niggas just can't raise their hand and be like, yeah, I am pussy. We just seen you do some pussy shit. You got jumped by the white boys and then you said why they didn't get suspended. But you put hands on all these people and you ain't get suspended, bro. Why you out here moving like that? That's not that's not Brooklyn. That was your only that, so that so that's your only issue with Mav Hoffa you So that's your only issue with Mav Hoffa he when he got popped on he started talking about a dude she get suspended and then and then he, he took issue with that That's why I started I was like this dude is corny like who does that you was just up here we just we only know you for punching niggas in their face on battles The moment you get jumped because niggas think you might punch them you mad What type of shit is that you talking about your smack, they should get disqualified. I said, oh, this nigga's one of them big, soft niggas to play basketball. And he knew that the battle rappers were soft, so he started duffing them out. Hey, yo, check this out. Check this out, right? So, Lil Boosie went on Math High for show the other day, right? I stopped watching him once he put Troy Ave on the um, platform. I stopped watching him. People still be sending me clips. I don't really pay it no mind. But somebody sent me a clip. And say, yo, why Max, why Math asking this nigga Boosie this question? Yo, son, he asked the nigga Boosie, he said, yo, if it's five people in a car and it's a gun in the car 
and the cops pull y'all over, who takes the gun, y'all? Either the nigga with the most felonies or the, um, the nigga that's the driver. Yo, but I'm saying, bro, how you asking a nigga that, though? Like, yo, bro, like, what makes... Like, and like, you know, a nigga try to use that, that line they be using. Oh, I'm a journalist, journalistic integrity and all of this yeah, listen, mumbo jumbo. I'm like, I, listen, I'm respecting everybody that's saying they're a journalist, <laughs> but niggas better be journalists when I see them. That's what I'm saying. Like, don't, don't, don't pull, don't play this journalist shit and then you play another game. That's my only issue. I don't like that. That was my issue with Nori. When Nori and them went through all them situations, the Hot 97, the shootouts and all that, they did not like when people was talking about it. They was pressing people, running down. And then when I get in jail because a nigga accused me of shooting him and shooting his friend, you give the nigga a platform to say I killed somebody, bro. And I ain't do nothing but give Nori great energy, bro. Two, three in the morning calls talking about helping him with his podcast. I see the clip the other day where he said, nobody helped me with this podcast, bro. I started crying laughing. Because me and Charlemagne was double dutching back and forth, helping this dude every other day. I said, this nigga is evil. He done came to the conclusion that nobody helped him. <laughs> so then I tell nigga, I say, yo, just let's deal with it on a common sense level, right? On a common sense level, drink champs interviews rap legends, right? So why the fuck was I on the second episode? Why? Right. I was taxed on on the second episode, and I was on another episode later on. I was on two different episodes. The platform. The, first, the platform. The episode when they was recording CBS in Manhattan, and then I was on another episode a year later when they were shooting in Miami. So why the fuck was you interviewing me for Nori? Why? If I wasn't the nigga that's sitting there doing all this shit for you in the background, helping you with every little step of the way. Come on, my nigga, but you know, at the end of the day, I'm not looking for clout for helping you. That was my argument, was that, yo, bro, I was helping you religiously with your shit. So to see you do some shit like that to me, that shit was foul. That shit was grimy. This nigga used the internet to paint a narrative that he's innocent. He done convinced people that it's all right to go in the club and jump on somebody. This nigga done said that self, how the fuck, that self-defense in no state. Can you agree to go punch somebody and punch them and then later on say, oh, they wasn't supposed to shoot me? Yeah, I tell people like, that too. You can't tell me how to respond. Once you do something to me, you can't tell me how to respond. Like, you can't tell me how to, oh, you punch me, so, so I got to punch you back. You know what I'm saying? I can't kick you. I can't you know kick you. If you punch me, I can't kick you. That situation was, um, he was doing a lot of shit, you know, in the, in the background, in the streets, but I never brought it up on the internet. I would just joke on him. That would be my response because I would just clown him just to show him, like, nigga, you ain't, uh, niggas ain't busting no moves, you smell me? And I just crack a joke on him because that's what I do. So when people see me crack a joke, they like, oh, he always joking on Troy, but they don't know that nigga was doing a little underhand and under the table shit, trying to do a little sneaky shit. And it was like, you wasn't surviving. That nigga whole crew was ass, my nigga. I know all of them. They, come on, bro, this shit is not even funny, bro. The niggas was a fucking, like, CB4. Niggas slapped them niggas together and gave them guns and put them on the cover of a fucking mixtape, my nigga. Like, that shit is not even funny that, that went on. So it's sad because, bro, I been knew that jury was fake. I been knew. All, all the jury he had on that night was fake. It all fell. The other shit ended up in another nigga's hands. It's a real nigga. He called me the next day. Yo, tax this nigga shit fake. I'm like, wow. I ain't even know the main one when them niggas had the chain. I ain't even know, but I knew because I knew everything was fake. So the thing is, is this, this dude is a fucking psychopath, my nigga. This nigga really goes after anybody who don't like his shit, bro. Man, niggas don't like my shit. I don't care. I just keep it pushing. So I'm trying to figure out how the fuck did the Manhattan District Attorney actually side with all this fucking bullshit that he's the victim. And I I stalked him by dissing him on social media all the time. Nigga, it don't matter what I said about him on social media. You cannot run up on me and start punching me and hitting me with guns and bottles. And then you convince yourself that you won. I'm like, how the fuck you won? All oh, y'all niggas was in the hospital. I was in Atlanta the next day doing the pull-up with Lil Day Day and them. Nigga, fuck are you talking about? <laughs> How did you convince yourself of that? You con this, I know he crazy. He done convinced his fucking <clears throat> self. He's even in court believing that shit. He's like, yeah, and I fucked him up. And I, I said, damn, is this like, is this something to like help him? Is this a coping mechanism or something? <laughs> 
because I'm saying I did get jumped, bro. It wasn't a one on one fight. They keep trying to make it seem like it's one on one. It wasn't a one on one. That's why it's embarrassing to them because they know it wasn't a one on one. So now you sitting there one on one. I got punched. I got hit with a couple bottles. It wasn't nothing. Put some ice on my head. Put some um um um. Put some ice on my lip. I still had a busted lip. I'll show you the fucking picture. People ain't even ain't even know my lip was busted in that picture the next day. You dig what I'm saying? But the point is, is that. What I did was I went home. I took a shower. You understand? You you went to the hospital. You understand? You came out in the wheelchair crying on news and shit. You mad because you got caught for the crimes you did. For the crimes you did. You shot the gun on camera. You got caught with three guns. That's it. Go handle your handle. Don't come over here start trying to chat about me talking about you spoke to your rabbi and your and your Muslim and your Muslim iman and they told you that this is an entertainment and you need to go and cooperate and all that shit. Nigga, you was telling from Jump Street, nigga. It is what it is. And the thing is is that if he was like actually telling the truth, i be, I could just be like, you know, it is what it is. But you fucking lying. You're a fucking liar. All a nigga do is lie. Look, any nigga who gets on social media and start describing how real they are, how much they take care of their family, and how loyal they are, and the, and the amount that they call costs and they independent, the nigga lying. It's like a nigga telling you right now. It's like me sitting here talking about how dark skin I am every day. I've been dark skin my whole life. Bro. I don't talk about that. That nigga's a fucking pathological fucking liar running around with a whole bunch of other rats in Brooklyn. Them niggas is rats, too. Half the niggas just came out of Geo and Queens and the feds. They was all over there with, with Takashi and them niggas. They all together now trying to start a whole rat alliance. whole bunch of fucking rats. This shit is disgusting, nigga. These niggas really used to be pets, and now niggas is making these niggas pets and making up excuses. But what I've realized is Say that, that again. Say that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Say that again. Say that again. What's that? What you just said. What you just said. What you just said. Um, About the rats, you said they used to be what? Oh yeah, the rats used to be pests, and now niggas is making them pets. <laughs> they taking these niggas home, they in the crib, they feeding them. These niggas is growing, they getting stronger. These niggas got G-wagons now, like it's mice with G-wagons, you know what I mean? Right. So it's, it's crazy to see this shit in the street culture because I wasn't even fucking with the streets. I was on straight podcast timing. I was just trying to grow. I was helping niggas elevate. I was teaching the kids. Yeah, I'm cracking jokes. And I was cracking jokes on all the goofy, fake gangsters. That's who I was cracking jokes on. Those were the funniest niggas to me. Because I've been there. I've been in the street. And I know y'all was capping. All right, let me ask you this, though. All right, so, so, so I'm saying you don't feel like... you don't, Do you ever feel like... Do you ever feel like you the reason? Like, because you was making jokes on the fake gangsters, do you ever feel like ultimately you the reason why you in the can, my nigga? Um, nah, not, that's the reason I'm in the can. Of course, that's the, um, the root of it. But the root didn't start with me cracking jokes on that nigga. This shit, this shit been from years ago when he first tried to sell me a CD too aggressively and I played him. This shit is from like 2004. People don't understand that. They keep telling my yellow Twitter beef that started on Twitter. No, it did not start there. That's where y'all seen it. This was a dude who was aggressive trying to sell his CDs. I said, yo, bro, I ain't got it. He said, yo, my nigga, you at least got a dial on you, nigga. Come on, nigga, you got a big blue Escalade right here, nigga. I know you got a dial on you. I'm like, yo, I don't got no dollar, nigga. So the nigga kept pressing me. I'm like, nigga, I'll fuck you up. Get the fuck out my face. That's how I met that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga was trying to get a dollar, though? The was around him. The second time I ever was around him, I seen one of my niggas mush him out the VIP. I ain't even gonna say who, what his name is. I don't even know if he wanted to be said. I think the nigga mushed the nigga right out the VIP. One of my sons to be with Mano. The, the, the next time that I was around him, I came home from jail. And um, my son, Seven, that used to be down with him, was like, yo, tax, I'm gonna take you to the strip club. He took me to the strip club, and he was like, my man there ready. His man was Troy. We sat there at the strip club together at the bar and threw a, threw a couple singles, dapped them up. It was cool, cool, bye, yeah. That was it. Now, the internet shit, I'm on the internet cracking jokes. He tried to crack a joke. I cracked the joke back. He didn't like it. He started talking spicy. I'm like, whatever, bro. I kept cracking jokes because I love cracking jokes with them tough niggas. See, because they don't got enough wit to take a joke. So they always want to get physical. And it's like, I can get physical. I ain't ducking no physicalities. But at the same time, I don't care to. I just want to joke on you. I think you're a clown. Why can't I joke on people, bro? Like, this is fucked up. I like jokes on niggas, bro. 
So if I'm gonna keep getting in this shit, I probably am. Cause I'm gonna keep joking on niggas, cause that's my rack. You can't be getting into this type of shit no more, though, done man. Know what I'm nah, saying, cause you, listen, I'm saying, your your spirit is high. You told me before. Cause you cracking a joke on a nigga should lead to no shit this far. Cause see, I done seen the nigga several times and it was nothing. It was nothing, bro. But these niggas I is emotional, son, times, niggas. He like your tax. Yo, we need you on your side. Let me tell you what happened, right? This nigga went on Breakfast Club, and the nigga said, "Yeah, you know, some people close to us told us that Jay Z heard the music or whatever." Know what I mean? So we're whole fucking with it. Know what I mean? So you know, at the time, everybody know we got this feud going on. It's nothing serious to me. It's still a joke. And then two days later, I was with Jay Z. The shit hits TMZ. It's all over TMZ. Oh, Tax Stone and Jay Z together. So I think that that shit was like a blow to him mentally. Because they was trying to ride the Jay Z wave, and then two days later I was with him. We had a whole meeting, spoke for three hours. You understand? I ended up getting my Duce deal. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So yo, you gotta, yo, that's that whole that's what you gotta talk like to me. Damn, that's what, that, yo, listen, that's what you gotta talk to me on the back channels about. You gotta tell me how to get these advertising deals. Cause clearly I'm about to I'm about to I'm about to take off, man. So I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need to have these people. You know what I'm saying I'm gonna be I'm, I'm gonna need to be shouting out these products and all that on my nah, line listen, too. Well, you about to as soon as you drop this, you gonna do astronomical numbers anyway. And yeah, shit sure. Gonna, and shit is gonna grow crazy. I told listen, I'm I always been trying to be behind the city. That's why I don't want you and Poppy beefing. I don't want niggas beefing with China Mac. China Mac gotta shut the fuck up sometimes. He China Mac just, just tried to, yo, some word of mother, China Mac just tried to call my phone. Yo, listen, the thing with me and Poppy is this, scrap. I, yo, that nigga threw mad shots at me. And I'm saying, like, he the one that told me to come to YouTube and start talking my talk. You heard? I always say that. You heard? He the one that told me to do that. I was on Instagram. I had it going on. He was like, yo, you need to come to YouTube. That's where the money at. So I started messing with the YouTube, right? So now check it. Boom. He been throwing shots at me ever since. After like two months of me being on YouTube, he see like, oh, this nigga about to pop. He just start throwing like subliminals, indirects, and then even a, a few times like mention my name. You know what I'm saying? And so after I responded to that, he tried to come out and say the beef was fake or whatever, but it wasn't. I had not talked to that nigga and, and discussed no fake beef. I'm not into that. I would have dubbed that, you heard? But he, he took it upon himself to go about it like that. And so now he implies that I'm messing with teeny boppers, you heard him. A, a grown ass man, I'm 42 years old. A 42 year old man that mess with teeny boppers could go to jail. What does he go to jail for? He go to jail for that all word situation. So when you making these videos and hundreds of thousands of people, he, he, say, he, he say he got billions of views on his channel. So billions of people is watching your videos. So billions of people is watching you imply that I'm one of them all word niggas. I'm mobbing on this nigga until I'm tired. All that put that to the side. We, 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 I'm mobbing on him, you heard? I don't care. Whoever don't, whoever don't want me and that nigga beefing, they don't want, they, they cool. But that's going to be happening until that nigga apologize for saying that about me, you heard? Listen, you what's going to happen. If he don't apologize, if he don't apologize for saying that to me, it's a dub. Right now. It's mad checks, real shit. It's too much checks out here for anybody in New York to be playing right now, bro. Real shit. Nigga, I'm all the way New York. I don't be caring about, bro, that's why I don't be playing with that whack 100 nigga. That nigga always got his fucking mouth on a New York nigga dick going crazy, and I don't like that because that nigga's a bitch in L.A. He running from his own L.A. niggas. He don't be talking about that. He don't be talking about how to, he, he running from the power rules of L.A. He running from the fucking neighborhoods. Keep it a buck. Show Show me one fucking post to any one of them hoods and I'ma shut up. That if he show me one post to any one of them fucking hoods, nigga, show me one hundred West I pop. Show me, show me, show me you a motherfucking uh, uh, with the rolling sixty somewhere. Show me the shit. This nigga is playing games in the industry, acting like he a street nigga, and he's actually got some of the white boys in the industry giving him money because they believe in the shit, and that shit is wrong. You know why? Because he's acting like you. He's acting like niggas who actually been through it. That nigga is fronting and is wrong. And he being a bully to a whole bunch of niggas. My nigga, that nigga tried to bully me just because I did a Meek Mill interview. That's what I knew. I said, me and that nigga will never get along. It's not nigga make us get along because how the fuck you going to get mad at me for talking to Meek Mill in an interview? Oh, that no, one I never was... gave a fuck about... Look at my page, nigga, if I'm lying. I never gave a fuck about who fuck with Troy Ave. I'm up there promoting the niggas right, that's right next to him. They, they, they albums are still on my page to this day. 
I was promoting them niggas. I didn't give a fuck about who fucked with him. Why do I give a fuck about who fucked with you? You, you ain't stronger than me. Y'all can't do nothing to me. I never cared. I don't be caring who fuck with niggas I don't fuck with. I just be laughing. It just give me something to look at. It's entertainment. So weak niggas, they can't do that. They can't do it at all. Yeah, son, these niggas is kind of happy you off the scene, though, son, because they, they, like, you opened up a lane from these niggas, and, and when you got bumped out the rotation, and I'm saying them niggas put the pedal to the metal, son, these niggas is chewing off that lane you opened up. I was in jail. I ain't really know what was going on, but I didn't familiarize myself with it since I've been home, and, I, and I'm saying, like, you had a, you had a different type of energy, and I'm saying, like, like, like they, tell, they, they, they be telling me, like, yo, you remind me of Tag Stone, you remind me of Tag Stone. I be telling niggas, yeah. I'm older than Tax, though, and I'm saying I was doing this shit right here a little bit longer than Tax. Tax was doing this podcast shit, but I was on that gate wilding niggas up. I was on that gate wilding niggas up before Tax, you know what I'm saying? So I told niggas that I'm a professional. I'm a professional. I'm a Gucci. You're going to be great. You're going to be great. Inshallah. You're going to be Gucci, and the reason why is because, see, you've interviewed niggas in their most disgusting situations. You've talked through the cracks of the door in the special housing unit. You've Facts. Under the door. talking from 10 to 11 building. It's different. It's a different thing that came, and that's why when I came, that's where I came from, nigga. I just came straight out of Cayuga S block, nigga. I went to Willard, was in Willard for fucking 94 days, and bust a nigga fucking head with the iron, and you know you graduate in 97 days. Nasty work. I went, straight to, I went straight to five points, went from five points to Cayuga S block, and finished my year because I was category one. You understand? I went straight home and started doing this podcast shit, and I and I I but I didn't ride nobody wave. I did it on I did me. These fucking niggas are crazy out here. See, the, the reason it's gonna work for you, Zip, is because you're not stupid. You understand? You're not soft. You understand? And you know how to talk. And that's all you need. These niggas are are weak human beings, and they do shit spitefully. You understand? To try to hurt people. I never spitefully try to hurt nobody. You know what I mean? I never try to like. As much as I want to do coward shit sometimes when the cowards attack me, it's not in my it's not in my fabric to do it. I wake up sometime wanting to be Caitlyn Jenner. I want to turn into a whole bitch on these niggas sometimes because they just being bitches to me, scratching me all day. And I got to take the scratches and I got to just pour the alcohol and feel the burn because I could never be fucking Caitlyn Jenner. But all these niggas turned Caitlyn Jenner way before Caitlyn Jenner. So when I see them hating transvestites and shit, I'd be like, you a transvestite too. How yo, son, yo, son, want? think about this, son. Think about this, son. Yo, think about it, son. A lot of, a whole, a, a, a great majority of the population of our community, right, the niggas, right, they was raised by nice old ladies and crackheads. Ladies. Nice old ladies and crackhead mothers, you heard. Either or. That's what you was raised by. Like, like I'm an example of that. Like, I'm an example of that. If it wouldn't have been a nice old lady, it would have been the crackhead mother. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, that's what I'm trying to tell. Like, 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 like. So, when you, you say these niggas is acting like broads, bro. Like, and I'm saying that's why some of us, and I'm saying, like, the niggas that, you know, like, my grandmother had brothers that used to be around. And I'm saying her sons was around and all of that. You feel me? Niggas had men around. But some of these niggas, all that was around was grandma. And her two daughters or mommy and, and, and some shit like these niggas got a lot of whole tendencies bro they grew up with ladies bro like it's it's, 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 it's not it's that's not it's not, it's not funny issue. i grew up in a house with 17 women my nigga and i don't possess some of these traits the women raised me to be a man so when i look at these niggas and they make up these excuses to have these estrogen filled decisions and these feminine ways about them it's like my nigga your girl don't even know she a fucking whole lesbian she over there eating pussy Use a whole fucking entire bitch. And, 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 and that's why you know they bitches, because they always come with the excuses. A <laughs> nigga talking about, a nigga gonna tell me, he like, yeah, yo. Because, yo, you know what I mean? Troy just, Troy speaking his truth. No, he ain't speaking his truth. A nigga speaking his truth ain't never gotta speak that much. He's speaking a lie. Hey, yo, I told, hey, yo, hey, yo, listen. Hey, yo, listen, this is what I'm saying. See, like, I, so now, like, right, we chopping it up, right? We been chopping it up, but, like, this is live, like this is live. Look, check it. I tell people all the time this, you heard? Like the reason why I feel like I got what it takes because I, I'm only gonna deal with the truth and I'm a good explainer. And the truth don't really need a lot of explanation and I'm a good explainer. So when I may explain exactly. something that don't need a lot of explanation, and I'm saying like, I, 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 I'm saying I, I, I do a little good with that, you heard? I do a little good with that. Like 
And so, and I said the same thing in regards to that. Why you got to explain this so much? If you did right in there, you would have said what it was, and that was that. You would have said what it was, and that was that. You wouldn't have been having to say, oh, I did this. You wouldn't have been having to make no songs about none of that. None of that would have been going on. My thing is, my whole thing in, in, in the situation was this, and I'm saying trife. Like I said, I know that nigga, I got a rapport with that nigga. That's my brother, man, you heard? That's my brother. They was in the same crib. For a long time in the beacon together, you know how that go, niggas in jail together, eating with each other and all that. That's his man, you heard? I know the nigga. I was homie. He was the homie. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the building. I'm coming through the building two, three times. You know what I'm saying? I know, son. You heard? My thing was, I see this nigga like, like, like you tell him. He's, he's snitching on a nigga. I don't care who, what happened, whatever. You snitched on somebody. What disgusted me was when he started saying he won. Like, bro. Like, you saying you a street nigga, but you saying Yo, but you won, my nigga. Your you man died, bro. Think about it. He really did win. He, the reason he won was because, come on, bro. I ain't do what he said I did. That's why he won. <laughs> Yo, That's man, I, that situation it's, it's, it's nasty, man. The beginning. You got to think about it. This is what I told people, right? Why the fuck? Was you trying to get everybody in your team to say that I killed Banger? Why? Why would you have to do that? Why? Why would you be trying to get everybody in your team to say that about me? Why? Why did everybody in your team stop dealing with you immediately after? You saying it's because niggas ran on you and this, that. Y'all was with each other after all of that shit. Y'all was with each other. What happened? You don't. You can't say what happened because if you say what happened, you got to go to jail. You understand? But you gonna put me in jail, say your tax did everything. The nigga, he admitted to what they seen. He admitted to the gun. He admitted to them seeing him shoot on camera. He gonna tell you, you were well in the room, tax shot everybody else. I didn't do that. You, I only shot outside of the room. My nigga, what are you talking about, bro? What do you, how did the government believe that dumb shit? You dig what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Where I'm from, where I'm from, I just got to deal with it. These niggas don't deal with this kind of shit because they can't deal with it. And I understand. We cut from a different cloth, bro. The cloth a nigga is cut from is about the size of a motherfucking handkerchief. These niggas is cut from a cloth the size of Texas. Nah, yo, son. Yo, you hear me? You know what I realize? I mean, they might be cut from the same cloth. They just use different scissors, you heard? Know what I'm saying? They just use different scissors. Know what I'm saying? They pull them cheap shit out with these niggas, man. Pulled through them shits, there's a raggedy, they, they made that cloth raggedy, man. You know what I'm saying? They just use different scissors, boy. Whoa. Hey, yo, man. Shit is, shit is sad, boy. Yeah, hell yeah, man, hell yeah. Yo, um, yo, man, yo, 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 since the last time I spoke to you, man, Coach then went home and all that, him and BT out here looking good. Him and BT sad. out here looking good. Them niggas just gave back 50 years. You know what I'm saying that's that's that, that that's the inspiration for you, boy. Keep that in keep that in the front of your mind that you just with nah, a nigga. That's what I deal with nigga like you know Rick Ross got a line. It's, it, 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 I think he said he said, "Be loyal, your time will come for you to be free and shine like the sun." You know these niggas don't understand that that seed starting the dirt. Then they got the sprout, then they got to grow, then they got to go through the vegetation stage, and then it bloom. Everybody trying to rush the process. That's why niggas rap. Niggas rap because they trying to rush the process of freedom. These niggas know what they did. They know the consequences of it. They just act confused when it comes. I don't act confused when, when, when it comes. I'm confused now. I'm confused watching the news when I see a dude just get charged when a dude punched him on the train, he stabbed him and killed him, he's locked up for criminal possession of a weapon and, and manslaughter, and he got no bail. That's his, that's my case. A dude testified that he punched me, and he said that I shot him with a legal gun, criminal possession of a weapon, and he died. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. His man lives it's the same case. When you got a dude in Queens who has a gun that's registered, but it ain't registered in New York, it's a legal gun. And this nigga shot the dude who tried to rob him. You understand? So how the fuck could a nigga come inside of a room and tell y'all that they came and attacked me first? This nigga went in civil court and told civil court that I attacked him. And now in criminal court, he goes in criminal court and admit to attacking me first. How does that work, my nigga? So I understand that all these cases is about to happen through New York ain't gonna do nothing but help me. Ain't that perjury? Huh? Ain't that perjury if he went to civil court and said that? 
and then came oh, over. Yeah, I peeped that immediately though. His stupid ass didn't. I said as soon as he said it on the stand, I started laughing because I already had the statement that he said in civil court. So I don't know how that's gonna play over in civil court. Cause you you in criminal court saying you did the attack, and then you in civil court telling him I attacked you. And civil court is definitely gonna use that against him because they don't want to give you that money. You over here sitting there getting loans and shit from loan companies talking about you getting a lawsuit for getting shot in the club, acting like you out here getting it and shit. Nigga, you's a fucking weirdo. Period. A weirdo ass nigga. Any nigga sitting there doing all that dumb shit, trying to describe everything. Yo, yeah, you see this car right here costs this much. How many dudes you know doing this independent from New York? Man, shut the fuck up, bro. You a fucking pathological liar. That's why he keeps saying that fucking shit over and over again, trying to get somebody to believe it. He got a lot of niggas to believe it, and that's cool, because a lot of them niggas don't fucking matter anyway. You think it's weaklings, bro? Yo, germs got a germs got a good line. Germ, germs got a good line. I be using, I be using. I stole it. He got a good line. Niggas, niggas be yelling, niggas be screaming loud from the nosebleeds. Mister Shot, man, like a nigga gonna hear that. Like a nigga gonna miss because you saying that, you heard? From nosebleeds, judging niggas. Yeah, from the nosebleeds, scream, Mister Shot. Like somebody gonna hear you. Like he gonna miss because you said that. He gonna miss because he he gonna miss, but not because you yelling from way up there. You ain't courtside yelling that. You ain't you ain't a heckler. You can't heckle nobody from the nosebleeds, you heard? Let's get to that, germs. That's the remix, you heard? You can't heckle nobody from the nosebleeds, you heard? Yeah. Nobody hears you, champ. Nobody hears you, you heard? Whoa. Yeah, man, I'm happy for them niggas, though, man. Them niggas gave back 50 years, B. Niggas gave back 50 yeah, years, man. 16, 17 years, and nigga, they back. That's what this shit is about. So right. Ten toes down. They right. testify on each other and throw each other under the bus. Right. Right. They ain't loyal, nigga. These niggas is different. And so that's why that's why when niggas be saying shit like and see me early, I say, yo, the 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 the, the concept of loyalty in the streets is a myth. Them niggas just made it hard to tell. Like what you talking about, zip nigga. Them niggas just stayed loyal. Them niggas remain solid. Them niggas stuck to it. Streets is not a myth, man. The internet is the myth, man. That shit going on on the internet is fake, man. These niggas get a couple dollars, they act other than they sell, you heard? Like, they, 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 they act other than themselves, man. They not really who they portray they portray to be, man. Dudes is, like, yo, son, like, when you, when you watch ESPN, Stephen A. Smith, he never played basketball. He played a little basketball in college or whatever, but he's not. When he want to talk to people about basketball, he go and get professional basketball people that played the game. To talk about professional mm -hmm. basketball on these platforms and all that, you got people who never went to jail. Who whole channel is based on things that happen in jail. You got dudes who platform is about the music industry and they never been in the music industry. They platform is about the street stuff. They never been in the streets. It's a guy on YouTube. He attacks me. He attacks me often. He says things about me. He drives an Amazon truck. He never been to jail before. He never been in the streets before. He drives an Amazon truck. Why are you commenting on the things that I'm saying when you don't live there? Like, like, how you know? Like, when you understand what I'm saying? Like, chill out. Chill out. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and worry about, like, tell niggas about a Roth IRA. Tell niggas about a 401k. You understand? Because that's what you got to deal with when you're a working man. It's a whole population of people out here that could use that information. You doing that. Talk about that. Stop talking about... That's what I told niggas. I, I'm tired of niggas making money. I, niggas getting rich. It's a whole lot of rappers. Niggas said bang you in the yard and slide off on an early go back. I did that several times. I did. You, you understand? And I, no, no disrespect to these niggas or none of that. I'm just saying it's a whole lot of people that got rich... Talking about niggas like me. I'm gonna get rich talking about me, you heard? Respectfully. Yeah, Let me get some of that money talking about me. Gotta come, cause these niggas are novices talking about shit that they don't know of. Right. They never smelt it before, they never felt the metal, they never felt cuffs to sit on their fucking wrist for too long and make your wrist bleed. They when your legs go numb because the leg guy is on you, when niggas is spraying you and you fucking choking, feeling like you about to die, when niggas is fucking you up in the small box in the in the, in the small shoe in the jail, they never been through none of it and wanna discuss it to the point, you know what? This is what I want to do. 
I want to help get a lawyer on your show for when certain cases happen so he can break shit down too for, in a legal way. Because these niggas are complete fucking idiots, bro. Hey, yo. Don Florio used to be following me on Instagram. I was thinking about that. I got this new account. She don't follow me on there yet. If she patched back in, you know I'm saying like, or whoever, you know I'm saying, right yeah, whoever, you know I'm saying like, yeah, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't mind that because dudes are stupid. You know I'm saying like, dudes are stupid. Like yesterday, somebody was saying to me, oh, you got caught criminal possession of a weapon, sentence one and a half to three. Now I'm saying you went to jail February 9-8. You came home December 19, uh, um, 2001. Discharge. How did your case get discharged? What are you talking about? That's how, nigga. I did the whole bid. I maxed out. I did 10 extra months, nigga. That's how it got discharged, nigga. They let me go. That's what they say. If you die in jail, you got discharged by death. That's what it's going to say on the chain sheet, nigga. But you you wouldn't know that because you never been in jail. Why y'all niggas is talking about things like this? Like, you putting a nigga paperwork up like you really understand a nigga paperwork. You don't understand it. Y'all niggas is the niggas out here creating these false narratives, pumping these misconceptions. These niggas got audiences These niggas say things And then you got the common folk Just running with it That's why And I'm saying If you get on my page And you say something in my comments I curse you out But when I see deep people Like make videos about me Or whatever Or get in the comment section On somebody else's page And say something crazy I don't pay that no mind You screaming from the nosebleeds If you get on my channel And say it Then I'm gonna curse you out Respectfully I'm cursing you out for that But Yeah Why you trying to The thing is though I said you got a whole bunch of niggas, like, niggas like us is these niggas' spirit animals. Like, they wish that they, they, they mental says, yo, I would act like that or be like that if I could, but they're not physically capable of it. The same way why a lot of girls that, that might be squares love Cardi B, because in their head, if they had the heart, they would be Cardi B, but they don't, you know what I mean? So... Yo, son, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Say that, start, start that little spill over, cause that shit was fire just now. Cause I believe, like, I like, 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 I jacked that. Say that again. Say that again. Nah, basically, is nigga, nigga, we is niggas spirit animals. So these niggas, they work wherever they work at in the back of the UPS, right? They, they've been honest their whole life. Whatever they got a job, they, we are the entertainment. It's the same reason. It's the same reason. Why, um, this nigga BT just said he trying to call you. I'm going to tell him text you. Yeah, that's why, I, that's why I ain't answer. I just seen that call coming through. That's why I ain't answer because you was on the line. I just seen that. But they on deck. Um, I'm Yeah, these niggas is, um. Ah, let's get to that. Right. Right. Yeah, Yo, hey, man, why I'm there? It's like they they all want to live vicariously through you. It's the same way why a nerd is sit there and watch Terminator and watch Mission Impossible. They sit there. It's like it's, an, it's amazing because it's some shit that they can't fully accomplish that they watch it. So that's why it's entertaining. Like growing up, I didn't really watch The Wire. The Wire didn't move me. But The Wire didn't move me because my house was a drug house. That's why the wire didn't move me. Connected to my house was a dope house. That's why the wire didn't move me. Everybody I was around went to the feds and went to jail. Aunts and all that. That's why that shit didn't move me. It didn't entertain me. I actually didn't like it. It reminded me of bad times. When I watched Deep Cover as a kid, it reminded me of bad times. It reminded me seeing the nigga on my stoop with the fucking syringe hanging out his arm. I couldn't watch Sugar Hill growing up because of that shit. Because drugs, I had a great time during the drug era in the 90s, but I also had a bad time. I also had the time when I woke up in the middle of the night and see my uncle running out with the Nintendo and the Duck Hunt gun. I'm like, yo, where the fuck you going, nigga? My uncle Ray, he ain't have no taste, man. Word up. Rest in peace to Uncle Ray, man. That nigga stole... Every Nintendo cartridge my grandmother bought us, son. That nigga yeah, left it. You know the one? You know the cartridge that had Matt, uh, 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 Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt on the same one? Son, that nigga, that's the only one that nigga left, son. Word up, son. He did, he, yo, 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 that nigga was foul, son. That nigga, that nigga, that she let that nigga stay there, man. Look at that. She let that nigga stay there, man. That nigga violated us, bro. 
Word, that nigga violated me and my brother, man. Word up, man. I'm mad you said that just now, bro. Word up, man. Uncle Ray, he ain't have no tape. Yo, who that? Yo, who that? Bobcat? Yeah. Yo, tell Bobcat I said I love him, man. He about to pull up. Yo, Bobcat is more funnier than you, Tax Stone. Let's get that out the way. I don't care what you say. I know Bobcat make you laugh all day long, bro. That nigga is hilarious, bro. Son, that nigga used to have me in this. Yo, son, I'm telling you, like, up north, son, like, I'm talking 15 years in, son, laying next to this nigga somewhere, son. We used to be in the rec pen in five points. That nigga had me laughing the whole day, son. Yo, why the funniest niggas be the craziest niggas, though? Yeah, son, because they smart, son. They be smart, son. Let me see. You got to be kind of smart to be crazy, son. It don't really be no stupid, crazy nigga. He said, we don't care if Gunner snitch, man. He richer than you. I'm like, what the fuck? That mean you gonna give him some pussy? What the fuck? You gonna fuck right. him? Right. Niggas be talking like, yo, 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 bros is really on that too, though. Bros don't care if a nigga rap, but I don't really knock the bros, man. A like, broad, though. Like, nigga, what you doing? You gonna fuck him? Like, what you trying to get some dick from Gunner? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Yo, he got more money than you like. The nigga, like, nigga's not gonna spend one dollar with me. I don't care about how much money a nigga got. Yeah, I don't care if you was spending a dollar. Like, nigga, come on. Bro. Like, the nigga gonna said, the nigga gonna said. tell you something. I could have been way further in life with everything if I was a sucker. But my mouth don't work. Like, I ain't into that shit that y'all into. Y'all niggas is cool with being on y'all knees. My knees, I ain't got good knees. I can't do that shit y'all be doing. And this is why I'm the most hated nigga because they know I don't fold. They watch me stand tall all the time to the point that they try to drag me down with anything. These niggas just fucking freestyle all day about me, make up anything in the world. I had to just, I told you, I had to tell a young boy, the nigga said, yeah, yo, my man sent you Snickers. I said, Snickers, what's that? What is that? He said, oh, that means soft. I said, soft, soft? What that mean? What kind of soft? Like, what you mean? Like, my hands are soft? What? He said, nah, nigga said you was soft. I said, all right, well, who said that? He told me the nigga who said that, right? I said, well, I don't even know him. But I said, I want you to run this list down to him. I said, um, ask him who smacked me, right? Ask him who punched me in my face. Ask him who robbed me. Ask him who took something from me. I want you to run that list down. And then after you run that list down, ask him to run the same list down. Ask him which house I ain't go to in jail. Ask him when I told security I only go to a specific house. Ask him, because I've been with every fucking gang. These niggas got Rikers Island separated now. Pacquiao house, Jet house, Mac house. That's easy living. That's easy living. And these niggas be an intake for five days, not going to a house because they only want to go to one specific house. You know what that's called to me? That's called pussy. But I don't know. That's just how I think. Whatever y'all think is called, that's what's that's what's up to y'all. But that's my opinion. Cause see, I go everywhere. Nah, I second that. I second that motion. I second that. I'm not staying in intake. I was with the podcast. I was everywhere. Where was you at? Cause I was doing the same thing in every fucking house I went to. So I be confused with these niggas' assessment of their beliefs. But the reason that the, the kids come up with ideas like that is because I'm not growling all day. I don't walk around mad. I don't um be be um grabbing, laying on the floor and shit, telling the police if they don't take me to the clinic that you know I'ma just stay here all day. I don't do shit like that because I just get what the fuck I want, nigga. That's why y'all niggas is ass. That's why y'all got to do all that dumb shit. I don't got to do none of that. I get whatever the fuck I want. I do what I want to do. Y'all niggas is doing what the fuck y'all can. Whenever y'all can. You know what I'm saying? So that's the issue here. I tried to got into an argument with a little people nigga on the floor. Nigga down there with the fake card he is on trying to pose. These niggas be down there borrowing mad shit so they can go on the business floor and look cute for their girlfriend and shit like that. I'm like, man, if you don't get the fuck out of here, I get your fucking girlfriend beat the fuck up right over Rikers Island Bridge. You keep playing with me. Nigga, you gonna be in jail crying because she gonna leave you. She gonna leave you, nigga. Stop playing with me. I'm not that nigga, son. I'm a very cool nigga, bro. That's why I don't like being bothered, because I'm cool. And if I find that I bothered you too much to where you want to do something to me, I have no problem with saying I'm sorry. I don't want you to try to do nothing to me. Because if you try to do something to me, I'm going to do something to you. And I don't want to do nothing to nobody. So I have no problem with copping the plea. I got no problem with saying I'm sorry. I got no problem with saying I don't want it. I have no problem with that. This stage of my life is beyond strong. I'm so strong that I don't have that pride that these niggas got. 
these niggas got so much pride that they'll know that the dinosaur, the mm-hmm. T-Rex, is going to swallow them. But they cannot look pussy in front of the crowd, so they'll tell the T-Rex, suck my dick. And then the T-Rex gobbles them whole, and then they're gone. And it's so sad, because, see, I don't got that pride. I could tell the T-Rex, yo, my fault. I don't want to get ate. And I spin off and live to see another day. These niggas just going to die right there. I just told the nigga, I said, I feel so sorry for the niggas that say they're going to die for their chain. That is the saddest shit ever that you're going to die for your chain. You can just buy another chain. You can't buy no new life. Y'all niggas out here is crazy. I don't know who told you that shit was gangster. Dying over your chain? Nigga, fuck that. Why would you die over your chain if you could let him keep the chain and kill that nigga later and let him wear that chain to his funeral? I don't know. Maybe I got different thinking. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, sometimes I be feeling like if a nigga robbed me, he gonna take it off a dead body too, you heard? <laughs> I be feeling like that sometimes. Sometimes I feel like that, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I be feeling like, you know what I'm saying? It depends, man. Like, if it's a little nigga with a big gun, I be, I'm, I might I might slide that watch off, you heard? Respectfully, little nigga 40 cal, you know, that shit be looking mad doofy. I might slide the watch off, but, you know what I'm saying? Big nigga with a 38, nigga, take this. You taking that off a dead body, nigga. <laughs> I'm saying, I don't know though. Sometimes that's how I be feeling, son. Word. I know I ain't checking in nowhere. How you feel about checking in? How you feel about niggas checking in? Checking in, checking in is disgusting. Checking in is corny. I feel like that whole concept is a whack concept. If you're not doing it to everybody, how I'm supposed to respect it? You being selective? You understand? Like, just like I said, Justin Bieber don't got to check in. Tom Cruise don't got to check in when he pull up. The niggas got way more money than the rest of these niggas that tell him to check in. Y'all wait for these little niggas to get a record deal. These niggas got fucking $15 for their name. And they get a chain and y'all telling them they got to check in. That's corny, bro. That shit is corny. You, you fucking going after your own people as soon as they get some money and you acting like it's some gangster shit. Ain't nothing gangster about that. Now, granted, let's say if a nigga say, yo, I want to come shoot a video on your block. I can see you charging a nigga for that. I can see that. I can see you saying, yo, you trying to use my neighborhood for a back block. Yo, nigga, we fucked up over here. Look out for the people. I can see that. But all that, oh, get off the plane, and we going we gonna to do this. Nigga, no, nigga, I was in L.A. for years. This nigga's lying, nigga. That shit ain't like that, nigga. That shit, you could die in L.A. You could die anywhere. I told niggas that. that. That's what I told niggas. niggas. I said, yo, listen. Pussy, nigga. It ain't no reason for you to fucking be in the hood. What the fuck you in the hood for if you just made all this money to get out the hood? Yo, that's what I told niggas. I said, yo, listen, man. I, I, I did so much time in jail that after like year seven, I started feeling like I was going to die in jail. So mm-hmm. as long as I don't die in Danamora, New York, or Attica, New York, or Romulus, New York, Auburn, New York, Sing Sing, New York, as long as I don't die in no place like that, I'm fine. So whatever niggas is going to do to me in, in Dallas or Houston or Miami, Atlanta, L.A., Detroit, that's fine. I'm not 22 years old. I'm 42 years old, sorry. Wherever I die is a good place. Wherever I die, if you niggas is going to kill me because I ain't checking in, wherever I die is a good place, man. I'm coming. I'll be there soon, you heard? Straight up. I'm trying to go to Vegas for that fight on the 29th. July 29th. I should be off a of parole for that. Let's get to that. Yeah. They not you travel? Huh? They not let you travel? Parole. I ain't even asked him, son. I just did parole like a nigga from 92, you heard? Never missed no curfews, none of that. Like, I was scared to go to jail, but they let niggas smoke, so I had that over them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could smoke nigga, weed. That niggas ain't even wilding on niggas for curfew no more. I know, but this is why I've been doing what I'm... I, just, I had to have some discipline, you heard? I had to... I had to... I had to like, 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 like... Son, I'm a hooligan, you heard? Like, I'm not a reform hooligan neither, you heard? I am a hooligan, you heard? Not a reform hooligan, you heard? So, I know that I needed some type of discipline, you know what I'm saying? Like, I came home, it was coronavirus, parole was mad lax, and it was, like, wide open. I could have did whatever I wanted to do. So, I said to myself, boy, you're going to wind up back in jail, and niggas don't do 20 years twice. You already did 20 years. You can't do 20 years t- twice. You're going to have to sit your little ass down and figure it out, you know what I'm saying? So, that's what I did. I, I put myself... Like, 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 I enforced the, 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 the stipulations of parole. I enforced them shits on myself. And I'm saying that's discipline, you heard? Like, and I'm not mad I did it. And I'm saying I had a ball. I did what I wanted to do, you heard? Like, I didn't, I, it didn't, it didn't really restrict me from nothing. It restricted me from things, but it didn't really restrict me from nothing. You understand what I'm saying? 
because I just was in jail for 20 years. So being able to walk to my refrigerator and go in there and get that big gallon of milk, pour fruity pebbles and all of that, that was, that nigga, I'm winning. I'm winning. I could walk to the store, get a bacon, egg, and cheese, and a, and a, and a, and a, and a, and a, and a peach snapple and all that. Nigga, I'm winning, nigga. You feel me? Like, like shorty coming over, she whopping the nigga all for crazy. I'm winning. You I, like, you, like everything you like, everything these niggas out here like, like everything they like, I love it. You feel me? I was away from this shit for so long. That juice tastes good to you. It's great to me, you heard. You know what I'm saying? Now you know what it is, is that, you know, we appreciate things a little bit more when it's been taken away from you. A lot more. Look at a lot of the people that's free right now, you know what I mean? It's, 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 a, um, it's like, wow. Like, I've been here six years, and I've seen some niggas who genes ain't changed yet. i seen niggas who life didn't improve for nothing, and it stayed stagnant. So they just a statue. They just sitting there collecting dust. They just sitting there, the season's changing. They didn't move. They didn't grow. And that's one thing about me. Every time I came home from this shit, I grew. I grew, I got big, I blew past niggas, I surpassed niggas, and I'm always do that shit because I like to work. These niggas is lazy. All these niggas do is link up to get drunk with each other. That's all they do. All you see these niggas do is drink and take bitches twerking. That niggas is all homeless or one argument from being homeless. Whole bunch of niggas waiting for the next scam or the next lick or whatever the fuck is like. Niggas, the niggas better fix they thinking, nigga. This shit is real out here. That's why niggas is come home surpassing niggas. That's why Coach and BT just came home, got all kinds of jury buying houses and shit. As soon as they get home, Coach get in the range next week. That's why that's happening. Because these niggas understand what it is to get their freedom taken from them. And they and they and their, and, their, and their freedom is so valuable now that they getting everything done. And they and they not playing, they working on it. These niggas been home for two weeks and they getting all kinds of shit lined up, all kinds of businesses, everything. Meanwhile, you got niggas out there still talking about uh, LLC and all this dumb shit and trying to, mm -hmm. my nigga, I'd be here busting all kinds of moves right from there. If niggas, if niggas decided to like really just say, tell the truth and just start blurting out what, what I'd be doing from here, niggas would be like, oh, he's unbelievable. Because these, these niggas still be needing me for certain shit. I'm, on, I'm moving, nigga. You got you to gotta remain valuable. You know what I mean? That's what it is in life. The moment niggas feel like they can't use you, you can't get nothing from their ass either. So you got to be able to get used in order to use. You know what I mean? So that's the game. Just like I said, this podcast shit is easy. and You're going to be Gucci in this shit. You know how to talk. You know how to carry yourself. And you're not scared. And we need more niggas from New York that can control the narrative and don't have these fucking niggas from these other cities out here talking about shit that they got nothing to do with. You know what I mean? It should never be that. It should never be that at all. Like, it, 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 it shouldn't be nobody. With Hot 97, them dudes always coming at me since I've been in jail. And it's because I'm in jail. Because when I was in civilization, you'll see a picture of me with my, my hands tight behind Ebro neck laughing. You know, and we was laughing because he was scared. He thought I was going to do something to him. I was never going to do nothing to that big pussy nigga. I know he's going to press charges. I just like to crack jokes on him. See, the thing is, is this. These niggas are bullies. You got Ebro from the Bay. You got Funk Flex that's from the Bronx, right? That's just out of touch with the culture. Complete, complete out of touch. You know what's so crazy? The nigga that I posted on my page, right? The ratted on me, Malcolm Kenyon. I'll never forget this shit when his son text him. He said, yo, I'm about to pull my son in his group chat. Look what he just sent us. And he sent us a text that said, yo, I just have Funk Flex daughter sucking my dick in the staircase in school. And I was going to put that shit out, bro, because I didn't like the way them niggas was talking about me. And this was when I was home. And I didn't put it out, bro, because I knew at that time Funk Flex daughter was young. You know what I mean? And that was his daughter. And I ain't even want to body bag them like that. And I think about when I didn't body bag some of these niggas, and I say, damn, you should have. You know what I mean? You should have. You should have let him curl up. You should have let his stomach turn while he was at work reading that text from that little nigga because he went to school with your daughter and he was fucking her face in the staircase. See, they grown now. I've been in jail six years. The little nigga probably 21, 22 now. You know what I'm saying? But at the time, I didn't want to put it out. I just let it rock. So it's like so much shit that I let rock. It started coming out when I got to jail because I started seeing the shit they was doing. I told you, nigga, the nigga Nori told me. I was like, yo, I want to do an interview with 50, my nigga. I ain't going to lie. I always fuck with 50. So the nigga kept he like, nah, you don't want to do no shit with 50. So I'm like, why not? He said, yo, that nigga 50 really a rat. 
So I said, for real, for real? He said, like, nigga, I know for a fact he a rat. I said, nah, how you know you got the work? He said, listen, a lot of people don't know me and Ja Rule was living right next door to each other. And me and Ja had beef at the time, and I didn't even know that Ja was my neighbor. He said he ended up finding out Ja was his neighbor because his wife or something seat them nigga in the backyard, something to that effect, right? Long story short, the nigga said when the shit happened with um with, with, with Preem and all of them, that the FBI came looking for Ja and knocked on his door and was like, yo, where's Ja at? And he was like, yo, I don't know where that nigga at or whatever to stand the third. And he was like, they said, oh, well, 50 told us that Ja live over here. Because you told him that. He said he the one who told 50 that Ja lived next door to him. And then the FBI pull up and say, well, 50 told us that you said Ja live here. So this nigga told this to me. And then I see him all giggling with the nigga in the interview a couple months later. So I'm like, did he say this shit so I don't interview him? Or is it true? And he still don't care if it's true. He just going to interview him. Because you acting like your principles as a as a street nigga wouldn't, wouldn't make you do that. You understand what I'm saying? But now, you know, that these guys are on the street guys, which is cool. They're, they're journalists now. Ayo, you know tax I mean? stone. So, okay, that's understandable. Ayo, tax but stone. Ayo, tax stone. Ayo, tax stone. Don't say no street shit back. Be Yo, hold up, Dun. Yo, hold up, Dun. Yo, you said, son told you that 50 sent the police to Ja Rule crib? Yeah, so he told me, he said that he was beef with Murder Inc. or some shit at the time, which I didn't know about. And he said that him and Ja literally shared a backyard gate, and they didn't even know they lived right next door to each other. He said his wife ended up finding out he was on tour. It's like, yo, this nigga Ja Rule living the next door to us. He even said that he let Ja come to his crib or some shit like that and told him, like, yo, bro, them niggas is looking for you. And Ja was, like, fake playing his crib for a minute while the feds was looking for him. You know what I'm saying? So this is the weirdo type of niggas that you got to deal with and hypocrites that say shit for the moment because it suits them or it suits their purpose or cause. You know what I mean? Because all of a sudden, you doing interviews with 50 Cent and everything's cool by y'all. So I'm sitting there like, damn, yo, this nigga told me this nigga was a rat and that I shouldn't do no interview with him. And now uh, you sitting here with the nigga or, or Google Gaga and shit. So when I blow this shit up, what they say? Oh, yeah. Oh, taxes are rat. How you come over here blowing that shit up about Nori, this, that, and the third? Nori is a bitch, my nigga. He's a bitch that reads oh, his fingers. Oh, man. Tax. With his fingers. The nigga's dumb as dirt, my nigga. Oh, man. I'm smart about that, nigga. Everything that happens Don't that do nigga, the queens, nigga, like that, Tax. Nigga, it's the truth. Listen, listen, let me explain something to you. The nigga, the nigga Nori, because I still like Nori, like his characters, like the rapper, whoever Nori is. That's what I'm saying, son. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody, what, 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 like what? Yeah, that was my shit back in the day. Yeah, like, come on, son. So, this is why. New York, get the bloody money. Dirty cash, live niggas and smoke weed. Know these niggas. Know what I mean? Yeah, so I just son. Never forget that shit, cause one day the nigga said, he said, "Yo, he said, yo, tax. You know why I don't like Fab? He said I don't like Fab because Fab act like Jay Z, and Jay Z don't act like Jay Z." So I said, "Damn, what you mean by that?" He said, "Fab be walking around with ten security guards and shit, acting like he don't want to talk to nobody. He can't do a feature. He can't do this." He said, "Meanwhile, Jay Z walking around with one security nigga talking to you humble." And I laughed because it was like, "Damn, I just was hoping like that nigga wasn't with nobody." You know what I mean? So when he said, I understood it to a certain degree. But what I don't be understanding is that when I see you with them same niggas after that. That's why I be confused. I don't do that. It's never going to be a story of, yeah, that nigga Zip is a bitch, and then I'm over here fucking with you. If Zip is a bitch, you're never going to see me around him. You understand what I'm saying? And because a nigga's a bitch don't mean I won't listen to a nigga music and shit like that neither. You know what I'm saying? Like, I oh, still... God, that's a fact because, nigga, Cam is one of my favorite rappers growing up. I still like some of his old shit, but I think his character as a man is flawed. 
you could never talk no nothing to me. You have a flawed character. Why you say that? Why you say that about Cam? Completely flawed character. Why you say that? Why you say that about Cam, son? I a simple breakdown. Let's 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 do two things. First, you you, you do the whole shit where you get shot and then you say your niggas do the rock sign up. So you throw the investigation out of New York. If I was a detective, I would be investigating the niggas in D.C. to see who shot you. But now that you said niggas do rock signs up when you got shot, I'm going to now go to Manhattan to look at Rock Nation or Rockefeller, whatever it was at the time, right? Second, Jim Jones had Bird Gang and you went and bought it behind his back because you felt that he was going to try to leave one day. You are a snake. You snaked your friends. And you such a fucking snake that even during the verses, you sat there the whole time while they performed their songs and just looked at them and sat in a beach chair. While you was up there performing your songs, they sitting there helping you, and you sitting back hating them, not liking them because you don't like them. Because you's an old, bitter, faggot-ass nigga. Cam is a bitch, nigga. That's why they lost the verses. I'm not saying that they wouldn't have still won, but they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have lost that bad. Nigga, you didn't even help them. Go look at verses again. Go watch it back again. Every time them niggas performed, Jim Jones and Jewels had to perform them songs. That nigga sitting there like he too big to perform. That's the thing with the locks. Niggas ain't moving on no bigger eyes and little U's. Them niggas moving as a unit. Them niggas is up there beefing, just doing it because they want some money. And this corny nigga can't even play the part. He's sitting there just letting them letting them perform their shit. And he's sitting back, can't even help them. Like, you too big to be the hype man to hype your man up. You ain't no fucking real nigga. That ain't real nigga shit. That ain't real nigga shit to out of nowhere you been fucking with a nigga for 20 years and then you start talking about, yo, that nigga ain't even from Harlem. But what made you tell us this now? Because you was letting us, you was letting them say he was from Harlem forever. Why now you come to this revelation that he's not from Harlem? That's why I know you a bitch. Because whenever some shit suits you, it suits you and then you pop up with it. So when he comes at me because he said something to Karen Civil and I stood up for Karen Civil, that's my peoples. I don't give a fuck what she got going on with none of y'all faggot niggas. For you to fucking get on, on, on Instagram and say that Karen Civil stole money from Duke the God while she was standing with um, um, Hillary Clinton was running for president and he's st he sitting there talking about, oh, how is this bitch sitting there doing all this politics? She took $10,000 from Duke the God, this, that, and the third. Meanwhile, she was with Duke the God a couple days before that. That is is a real situation that happened, but it was a situation where Duke the God owed her the money, and she was in charge of the account. She just took the shit out the account herself without asking them. You understand? Duke talked to her. So why are you sitting up there acting like you extra mad that she next to the president and shit? It sound like to me like you telling. It sound like to me that you a bitch because if that bitch took ten thousand dollars from your man, why you ain't get it back? Why you on Instagram complaining like somebody who who bought the wrong package, who bought, who got the wrong fashion Nova set sent to them? <laughs> you have a flawed character. You can never talk. You sat there and shit on mates for years just for you to be sitting right next to the nigga again. Y'all niggas got flawed characters. Y'all a whole bunch of weak men. I don't have those weak traits. Y'all niggas are filled with estrogen from your fucking pinky nose, pinky toenail all the way to your eyebrow. Whole bunch of estrogen. Nigga, cut y'all right now. A whole bitch gonna roll out. That's what I don't like. So when these niggas discuss me or discuss anything with me, I'd be like, bro. Yo, see, yo, hold up, Tax. Hold up, Tax. See, you see what I'm saying? You said earlier that you be cracking jokes on niggas. And that ain't jokes right there, son. You was really I, violating I niggas right, right now. Because when, when I did an interview, right, and they asked me about Tupac, and I said, listen, Tupac a rat. I believe that. I say the same and thing. They said, how Tupac a rat? I said he offered information in the criminal investigation. Nobody knew who shot Tupac. There wasn't no cameras in Quad Lobby. Damn, there wasn't no cameras on 42nd Street. They don't got them niggas leaving, coming, none of that shit. So how the fuck we know who shot Tupac? Because Tupac told us. That's a fact. I told niggas the same. He, and he implicated Puffy and Biggie in that too. Exactly. And you dragged other people in it and then went to a whole nother coast and started a whole war because some niggas from East New York did something to you. So the point is, is now they say, well, what about Cameron? I say, yeah, Cameron offered information. He said that niggas threw the rock sign up when the shots was fired. So therefore, if you put yourself in the shoes of a detective, you're going to start looking in Manhattan instead of D.C. You got shot in D.C., bro. That investigation would have stopped right there. Yeah, but, but I'm saying maybe that Manhattan. was the throw off. Maybe that was the throw off. Had them niggas, do, you know the D.C. niggas did it. Had them niggas looking for niggas in Manhattan. Ain't nobody in Manhattan did this. Yeah, but still, why would you say that? 
I, I, I wouldn't have said nothing. I wouldn't have said nothing. I ain't seen nothing, but I'm just saying maybe it was the throw off. You, you, you cats who shot you. I'm like, nah, I ain't really see the nigga you heard. Like, all I know is that nigga just keeps saying, let's get to that, though. <laughs> let's get to that. Hold on, we heard that phrase. Yeah. Like, oh, my, I think, oh, this guy Zip the Drip says that all the time. Yeah. Oh, my nigga. These niggas be trying to play these fucking word semantics and games with a nigga. My nigga, I am fucking... Man, I don't even be wanting to talk about myself, man. Hey, yo, the P.O. nigga hit me with that when I walked in there and took my mask off. Not the last time, but, like, the time before that, I took my mask off. That nigga was like, oh, let's get to that. I was like, right, yeah. See? Exactly. So that's like that's like a nigga saying, yo, yo, I heard the nigga say, I heard the nigga say, brat, I, yo, I think he was blood, or I heard the nigga say whatever. Like, you saying a saying the nigga say, like, you know what I mean? That's like in a case, a situation happened where... Yeah, I know, I know what you're saying, bro. I know what you're saying. The, nigga, the, the ambulance nigga said, yo, who shot you? And the nigga said, 10, 10, 10, 10. And that's before he passed out. So then, you know, they got the shit on record, and they arrest the nigga. They find out that the nigga that was with him, his name was 10,000. Yeah, um... That, that, I grew up with that kid 10,000, you heard? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about then. I grew up with 10,000, man. That was you talking about. Old Dog did that. Exactly. There you go. Yeah, yeah. They pushed, Saeed, Saeed. He got pushed out the car or something like that. 10 wound up doing bad on them niggas and all of that too, man. Like, I hate to say he that shit. Bad. Yeah, he did all he the did way all bad the way. on them niggas. But his, I'm saying, like, his thing was, I did something to a nigga. He told on me, y'all gave that nigga a pass. Y'all niggas flipped on me for that nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so why yeah. not tell on you niggas? I don't, I don't agree with that, but that's no, his logic. You heard? That's his I logic. Tell niggas, listen, don't be sitting there not taking care of people and no shit about you. You don't did criminal activity with these people, and then later on you sitting there talking about, yo, I don't know why that nigga did that. Like my nigga, come on, bro. Yeah, my nigga, you you don't know why he telling on you, my nigga. He. Y'all did like that happened, bro. He he shot a nigga. Nigga said nigga nigga thought he was dying. That was like a, gonna be a dying declaration, homie. Nigga wouldn't have got the nigga wouldn't have got nigga wouldn't have got the arm um, cross examined out of nothing. That would have been solidified in the court. I'm dead ass serious. Like niggas that know the law know I know what I'm talking about. A dying declaration is worse than an eyewitness, bro, because you cannot cross examine it and it's admissible. So it's like your Crawford versus Washington issue. Yeah, your, your, your right to confront your accuser, it goes out the window because it's a dying declaration. You can't cross-examine no statement that a nigga made. And so because the nigga didn't die, you understand what I'm saying? So like, I, I remember when that shit happened, bro. I grew up with that kid, that kid 10. I grew up with that nigga, you heard? He older than me, he older than me. Like, like son is older than me and all that, but like, he, he, he a few years older than me. Like, he way older than me, matter of fact, but I grew up under that nigga, you know what I'm saying? Nigga talking crazy. My son is talking crazy. He's talking about he be joking on niggas. This nigga's crazy. So I be joking on tough niggas. You ain't joking on niggas. You talking crazy. He ain't going ahead. <coughs> Nigga tax. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you talking about you be jo you be joking on niggas and all that tax, man. You don't be joking, man. You be talking that shit, man. You just make it say that. They say the um, my grandmother used to have a saying. She said, the part of the joke that make you laugh is the truth. Mm -hmm. That's what my grandmother used to tell me, you heard? The part of the joke that make you laugh is the truth. You know what I'm saying? You don't be joking on niggas. You just be saying what you saying, but you, you know what I'm saying? You kind of witty. And so, you know what I'm saying? It come off like, funny, it come, but, but niggas be like, yo, huh, LOL, but you you right. LOL, but yo, dead ass though. That's all the common sense. You, you, you ain't joking, nigga. You dead ass. You ain't joking. Because they be doing the same thing with me, bro. That's what they say. They say, I remind them of you, man. I'm going to hold it down till you get back. 
And I'm saying to you, nah, get back you out here. I'm going to hold it down, bro. You can hold it down when I get back, too. Nah, nah, nah. When, once you get, you, back, you get back, no, listen, right? listen, listen, listen. Goofballs. When you they get back and I'm super duper, I'm just going to, like, I'm going to sit you down somewhere. I'm going to just sit you down somewhere. The camera's just going to be looking all nice like how I'm looking right now and all that. I'm going to just say, yo, go ahead. I'm going to be, like, I'm going to be situated. Like, by the, I'm saying, when you get back, I'm going to be situated, you heard? So, like, I'm going to just sit you down somewhere, like, yo, take off. I'll be like, I germ sitting over there right now, like, yo, take off. That's how you go. I'm saying, I'll be over there, like, yo, take off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get you one of them Bronx joints you like. Get you one of them Bronx joints you like. You ain't got to worry about shit. You ain't hear me, nigga. I said, I'm going to get you one of them Bronx joints you like. One of them spicy Bronx joints. Let you sit there with her and talk crazy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? She going to be with everything. Yeah, because that's how you like them dirty from the Bronx. You don't want you don't want a, a clean Bronx joint. Shout out to the clean Bronx joints. You want nah, one of the dirty ones. Like I don't even really be like I don't really be touching girls from the Bronx. You capping? I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. It's nothing like a Bronx girl, son. It's nothing like a Bronx girl. Nothing in New York. Like ACGs and lingerie. That's a fact, though. That's a fact. Yo, son, you see the weirdest things, man. They and dead ass gangster, though. Me, bro. I ain't that gangster. Like I ain't gangster. I just know how to fight and shit. Like I ain't no. I don't really consider myself. I seen a Bronx joint with the sundress and some Pumas on. The sun, like yo, you supposed to have slippers on with that home girl. What is you doing? She had the Pumas on. Like yo, you bugging? Like how you got Pumas on with the sundress in the Bronx, my nigga? Dead ass. <laughs> nigga said Pumas in the sundress. I'm dead ass. Like you supposed to have slippers on with that. He just tight cause he on their radar cause he keep talking. He gotta stop talking about people. Who Boosie? The feds on Instagram. The feds is making you the GF soon as you got more followers than the GF. I said that I told I said I said that in regards to the math Hoffa situation. Like, yo, you asking niggas if it's five niggas in the car, who 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 take the gun charge? I'm saying, yo, bro. Regardless of what, even if the nigga is prepared to answer that question, you should not ask that question. Who wants to know the answer? Why? Who? What nigga from the hood? What nigga from the hood needs to know the answer to that question? Like we all know, the nigga with the most money is not taking it. Like everybody from the hood know that. So who cares which one of the other niggas is going to? The nigga with the least amount of money. But why is you asking this? Like yo, you got a big platform, and I'm saying, what you think? All of the feds and the DA agents and the Homeland Security. What you think those is all old middle aged people that don't follow what's going on in the culture? No, this is people, agents from those um divisions that grew up in this industry, bro. Hip hop. They grew up with that. And I'm saying they know every rap song that came out their whole life, bro. Just like you, my nigga. They just chose a different route. They doing different things. So you on here and you asking niggas questions like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like yo, you out of line, son. Niggas, niggas chalking it up as journalism. I'm, I'm letting niggas know, man. I'm not a journalist. You heard? I'm not. I'm, I'm not a journalist. I don't. I, like, like, like. I, I'm a nigga with a podcast. I'm not a journalist. You heard? Let's get to that. I'm gonna put it this way, right? When I first started the podcast, I was doing a news segment. Yeah, I ain't doing none of that. Like, I, like, I. I'm not I doing none of that. A couple times, and then I realized that my friends be on the news. So I said, who the fuck am I to be reporting my friends, my nigga? <laughs> right. Right. That's about my, my, somebody told me that. Somebody told me that. Like one of my men's, I'm saying one of, one, one of my young boys, I got him. He be editing videos for me and all of that. And I'm saying, he was like, yo, you should start reporting on the news. I said, no, I shouldn't, son. I said, because I grew up, the news used to come on. It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? And then they started telling you about all of the things that went on in the hood like my niggas that was trying to get away they was putting their pictures on the news and all of that bro exactly. or, like they was putting my niggas that was trying to get away they was putting their pictures on the news bro the news i don't I, i'm not I'm, I'm not doing that i'm not reporting i tell you what the weather is i tell you what the weather is god sent that down i'm saying i tell you I t god sent that down i tell you the weather yeah, yeah, you know I'm saying, but that's it. I ain't reporting no news, man. You know I'm saying a hot topic or something. I talk about that. I discuss that. Okay, cool. I give you my take. You know and I'm saying my output on that. You know and I'm saying like like my input on that and my output actually. You know and I'm saying, but I ain't really like reporting on no news and all that. I ain't. 
That's a fact. Yeah. Yeah, that shit is illegal, man. It's just, you know, you know what it is, though, bro? Like I say, it's going to be and you going to do great. You know why? These niggas is corny, bro. A lot of these niggas is very, 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 very corny. Like, their content only is good because they're the ones doing it and other niggas ain't. So when dudes like you arrive, it's going to shift. Say that. It's going to shift, bro. <coughs> hey, yo, hey, yo, when you get sentenced, hey, yo, when you get sentenced on the 20th? Yeah, I get sentenced in a couple days. Yo, know, 20th. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, look, right on time, man. Like, right on time, man. Phone about to die, tax. Word. Phone about to die, man. Good conversation with you, B. Chopped it up. Yeah. 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 Yo, 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 yo. I know right now, I know you feeling this shirt. Listen, listen, listen. I blew trial before, you heard? Like, I've been through this. I blew trial before. The max I was looking at was 25, you heard? I wound up with 21, you heard? So now listen to what I'm saying, right? I know the feeling right now that you going through. I know that shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I know what you going through right now in between. I mean, um, my feelings right now was just like, I got conflicting anger. All right, now, but it's going to change. It's going to change. That shit. It comes from the way that DA started with. I know that. I feel that. I feel the same way. Like it was mad bogus shit going on in my track. Nobody, I, nobody even identified me. Nobody pointed at me and was like him right there. Nobody in my whole shit. Nobody did that. I got convicted because of who I was with. They pointed them niggas out. I got convicted because of that. Anyway, check it right. After you get sentenced, you gonna feel a different type of way. You heard? You know and I'm saying, and I wanna pat. I want. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm patching with you after you get sentenced. And I'm saying I wanna chop it up with you again because I'm saying like I'm telling you, your brain is gonna be operating differently. After you get sentenced, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gonna understand, like, like, like things is gonna be put in perspective. And so you gonna know, you know what I'm saying? Like, right now, things is in limbo. You don't really know what's going on. You know what I'm saying, like, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, anything with the, like, 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 it's favorable. Hopefully, it's favorable at sentencing. You know what I'm saying? But, like, it's still gonna change because now it's like a destination. You feel me? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What you mean? After he testified, he got locked up with a brick and a gun? My nigga, I ain't even know. I posted that nigga, right? Not even knowing that the week before that, he got locked up with, with two bricks and a gun. All right, so check it out, right? So you just said that they brought him in there and said he's a reliable witness. And, 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 and so he, perhaps he changed his life around. He did a few things. He changed his life around. And um, so he's testifying against some things that he knew about. But boom, after he testified against you, he got caught with a brick and some guns, you saying? Yup, a week later. I ain't even know. The fucking, um, the government sent a letter to the judge, the DA, and my lawyer apologizing because the nigga got caught up right after that. Hey, yo, man, that should be grounds. That should be grounds for on the pill. I don't want to say too much about that. And I'm saying, I don't know how much speaking we should do about that on air like this. But um, that's 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 crazy. And I'm saying, like, on that note, I want to just hang up because that's like a bombshell. And I'm saying, hopefully, that be the thing to get you out the door, bro. And I'm saying, we're going we gonna to make door. We're going to make door that that be it, you heard? Like, because how could this man be a reliable witness? How could you, and I'm saying, be a reliable witness to anything and you ripping and running? Nigga, you was just trying to save yourself. You you sold over a thousand bricks of cocaine. You did all these things in the streets. You trafficking guns, yeah, this shit cut off. Nigga said exactly. Yeah, we all for this.